All right, welcome back to another Sideline Bling, and we'll start with a cute story. Yes, so Pere Rives, a young soccer commentator from Girona who is blind, happened to appear with Lionel Messi in the launch of a portable artificial vision device that we spoke about in another episode of Sideline Bling. He was starstruck, of course, by meeting Lionel Messi, but he confessed that his real dream is to meet Joaquin from Real Betis. You know, it's cool to be able to meet Messi, but then apparently he's also gonna meet Joaquin. They share audios, they're talking, so they're gonna meet each other. So it's a beautiful story to start up silently. Arsenal and their mascot are parting ways because they cannot pay for Gonosaurus Sather. Incredible. But there's a hero to all of this. Yes, there is. Mesut Ozo has stepped up to pay for Gunnar Soros's salary. And this is a top class move from Ozil. He is the highest paid Arsenal player in the squad and he's not playing right now. It took Fenerbahce and Diego Perotti some last minute changes in their agreement before they made the move from Italy to Turkey official. And I think the reason in this delay of announcing this signing was that they didn't know if Perotti should appear dancing cumbia or tango. What an amazing announcement video. Yeah, obviously, technology and social media, you gotta go all out and to appear on Silent Link as well. And they did just that. They did a fake Netflix called the Fenerbahce and they chose Diego Perotti and that's how they announced him. So kudos to Fenerbahce. So as everybody knows, the NBA is playing in a bubble, but I guess nobody has asked this question. Who is making the food to feed the athletes? And now we know, at least one of them. Yes, Chef Lex and all other nine chefs in the NBA bubble are the true heroes. After, according to social media re reviews from inside of the bubble, Disney failed to live up to their food and wine festival name. It has to be said, they make 4,000 meals a week, and obviously as teams get eliminated, they do less, but uh, that's crazy. Keeping it in the NBA, NBA 2K21 looks like a real life broadcast. The trailer, of course, the details from fans in the stands to the timeouts are insane. It's absolutely mind blowing. They look like actual real life of what you see on TV players. It's crazy. And the trailer is pretty long. Like it's like a minute and a half, almost two minutes. And it shows just every moment. It's pretty cool. We'll start Fits, Kits and Kicks again with PSG and Jumpman doing absolutely great stuff. Uh, their new jersey is something that I'm gonna buy yesterday. Of course, I agree, Patrick, because PSG's 50th anniversary deserves this type of kit. Kristen Press and Tobin Heath's Manchester United jersey sales beat all of their male counterparts, which shouldn't be a surprise because one, they're extremely talented, and two, the women's team is doing way better than the men's. Shots fired. Manchester City and Puma decided to do a little contest on, you know, letting fans design kits for Manchester City. And the winner was a nine-year-old girl called Lucy Beth. I really loved the design of the kit, and when Aguero showed her in the video that she had won, I wanted to cry because Lucy's whole family was there to give her the news that she had won. I'm choked! <laughs> and it just goes to show that some nine-year-olds are actually more professional than current kit designers out there. <laughs> cough, cough. Yes, and a lot of fans actually agree with Lucy Beth. They all want that kit to be the third one for next season. So maybe Lucy Beth already found her passion and her career for the future. Nice design, Macy. This Queen's Park FC jersey sold out in less than 24 hours. It does look like a Tetris game, but it didn't sell out because of that. It sold out because it represents the club's history. Every win, every loss, every draw in the Scottish top flight since the 1900s. It ended up being a pretty cool design, I gotta admit. But there's a lot of red. I mean, a lot of losing history on this team that sucks. Well, no. I mean, at least for the design, it, it did well. Someone had to say it. That was me. And on that note, I am going to end this episode of Sideline Bling. I'm Danny Rios with Patrick Meehan. See you on the next one.